Hello everybody, today we're playing a brand new game called Minecraft A Story Mode and I'm just going to pick my character now and this is a little bit late to be playing episode 1 and I signed out of that. One of you are going to work with me that one. Let me check something. Okay then. There we go. We've finally got something working now, I think. That's good. Let's hope this works. Yeah, so we go. So I so we've got I need to download this, which I will. And we'll play through all of these. And yeah, definitely, and then there's of course a portal to mystery. Access denied. Oh this look that looks interesting. And a journey's end, so that's all of um, the episodes which I think this could be a good game. We only thought there was five, which there's not, there's eight. Which will be good. <coughs> Let's start episode one. And um, this is gonna be on a half or video, not like you know, anything like some people, but you know. This game there is a that's your choice and sorry to tell how I help you play. And every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost until all that remains are myths. Half truth, to put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have so long ago. Four heroes such as thee. Gabriel the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren the architect, builder of worlds and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. Okay then, this is going to be interesting. So I haven't really seen this game before, so yeah. But when yeah. one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. We'll pause the game quickly and um, have a look at the settings for audio. Have subtitles on as well. That's the receipt in the game. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your chicken sized zombies. It's just a hypothetical question, Jesse. So I I've anyone. got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Ruben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? What, what? what kind of question is that? Of course he 
he okay. is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. All right, I was just making a point. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> Okay then. Ha, you deserve that. Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. That's what you get, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it? You scared us half to death. Nothing is fun if you're not scared half to death. Wow. Did you bring the fireworks? Actually, the dude. Of course dude. I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. That was not half bad idea. He looks ridiculous. The Ender Dragon was a huge dragon, not a pig. It's a costume, Jesse. The whole point is to look ridiculous. Okay, you definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, yes. I'm ready. Waiting on okay. you guys. Let's go. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs. Okay, okay. okay. Right, let's do this. So, is it what you would do to move? So it's this to look around and this to move. And then A to open it. Shears definitely take these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. And it's RT to walk faster than run. Gabriel the Warrior. Do you think we'll ever get that famous? Nope. Not possible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. That sounds like me, I have so many posters. <laughs> Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. <laughs> That'll do, Reuben. That'll, That'll do. do. That'll certainly do. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building. Company. Yeah, and it's gonna be dick because I'm here. Look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. You really should change the name. Okay, that's up to chest. Hmm, is it steel? Is it too shabby? Also, if you'd like me to live stream. Some of the other episodes. Let down in the comment section. I will. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise okay, not to what say is that? anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the Spit last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freak himself. Cool. Oh, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. I wish they were all going to be there. Does nothing please you? You have to meet all the members of the super secret, super legendary Order of the Stone? I wasn't saying it wasn't cool. I was just saying that would be cool, too. You're right. All right, so what's happening So, here? does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Wow. So guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. You are we bad never bad. win. And this year we've got Ruben with us. We yeah. basically have no chance. We're going to win because... What are you talking because about? Because up to now, 
We've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, yeah. we start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound uh, as good as it did. Yeah. No, no, I'm good. with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. You're right. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something yeah. scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than Creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a Creeper today. Let's build an Enderman. Uh, yeah, Enderman. Olivia's thing? Are you whining? No, I was uh, saying awesome. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got yeah. everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Yeah. Let's get to grabbing them. We're so prepared. We can't lose. If not, bring it in. Epic montage. Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team. team. Epic montage time. Bring in the epic music. Bring in the epic chopping down wood. Come on. This is hard to see. <laughs> also, if you weren't supposed to put that water in the room. <laughs> Okay. We know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Yeah. Big losers. Oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Great. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. The fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Oh, a douche. Name, please. Axel. Uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the Dead Enders. Whoa. Sounds like a name for pirates. It's cool. Okay, Dead Enders. You guys are in booth five. Ha ha! Ha ha! Come on, actually, you can fit through there. You douches! Screw you! No! Is that a freaking beacon? Have, they have a freaking beacon? Freaking they have a freaking beacon? beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Our design is way cooler. A gigantic Enderman is better than a fancy light. 
Their difficulty score is going to be higher than our total score. We've got something they don't. Fireworks. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the Order of the Losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. Uh, We're just for you. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow an outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? Yeah. Shut I don't up. Know. Maybe. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Pet. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra, I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. We're cool with Petra, but you need to teach your friend some manners. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, have you heard the saying, it's possible to be nice and win? Sounds like something a loser would say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition. The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior. Yay! Ocelots! Ocelots! Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just <clears throat> make one up. We'll call it the... Uh, the Griefer Grab. Just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Dead Enders can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Let's do this. This is going to be like a little talk kind of game. Because. Oh, no. A fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. <laughs> you worry about your build, we'll worry about ours. Let's well, build our end of because this is a lot of chatty game. I won't speak as much. Okay, okay. Our end of looks sick. Here goes nothing. Let's do this! This will do us. We'll win this for sure. I gotta admit, this enemy is sweet. Good yeah. Call, Jesse. It's getting notice! Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. <laughs> we must no! Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was Aiden. That the lava's getting closer. We're gonna ruin the bill. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. You guys stay and save the bill. On it. We've got to cover, Jesse. Ooh. Be careful. <gasps> okay, then. <laughs> we'll meet up with you at Endercon. They okay, got it. Oink, oink. Let's go. 
Ruben, where are you, buddy? Who wants the spark? I think that'd be our best bet. Here. Yeah, it's definitely here. Doesn't look like this fire will spread. I bet Ruben started this. Yeah. Bet he did. Ruben, are you in there? Some things are clearly Ruben because they're all older pigs. So let's keep looking. Yeah. Ruben, it's getting scary out here. Ruben. Ruben. Oh no, you in there, buddy? If he was, it would just be a bloody piece of stick. Oh jeez, please don't be toasted, Ruben. Whew. Yeah, it's still alive. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! What you see? Can I say that this is an awesome game? And I love this game. Okay then. Actually, I think we could take this for an hour long episode. At least 45 minutes because this is a really awesome game. I'm really getting, actually, I'm really getting into that. So we know, but is he in here? Is he in here? Yeah. Ruben, there you are. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Yeah. Oh no. It's something to bear. Ruben, run! I think... I think we're good. Creeper! Keep a bunch of physics in there. Wood and sword. Wood and sword. Yeah. I know it's bad. I'll think of something. <sighs> Too many of them, buddy. They're here. Spot, no matter what. You hear me? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Get away from him. Get off me.
get a little string. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. This isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. So, you better appreciate this. That's insane, Petra. You could have gotten yourself killed. <laughs> Don't worry so much. I can handle myself. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Is a wither skull worth that much? <laughs> Are you kidding? For all the trouble I had to go to get it, I should be asking for much more. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? Yes, she has to kill grandmother you know, one to get away this come with me. Which any normal Michael play would nah. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. I'd be honored to be your backup. Yeah, we would. Don't make a deal out of it. I just said you could come with me. I know, I was there. It was amazing. Kinda starting to have second thoughts here. <laughs> I think we all are. <laughs> just keep a crafting table down here. Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted, you're giving me a new one. Even better, you can make your own. Yay! I love one my own. Plus two stones equals one sword. Here, yeah, let's open this chest. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course, it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jack. Let's do this. <coughs> Just place the pieces on the table. Down. The place. Let's see. Come on, Jesse. We don't have all night. Yeah. So that. No. <laughs> it's like this is your first time crafting or something. Hey. Put the stick at the bottom, and then the two stones above it. No! This is complicated, alright? Don't judge me. And with that, we are going to leave the episode here on a cliffhanger. You just got a sword. Now, we're going to end the episode. So, 